Hey Facebook, this is Rebecca Montgomery. Thank you for joining me. This is my first video of the five videos I would do for a four week period. And I just want to first say thank you for joining me. Uh, thank you for just taking part in the experiment. This is going to be fun. This is, of course is my first video, so it's just, I know I'm a little stiff, but I hope that this message can resonate with you. I'm going to talk about purpose in life because it has been the topic of discussion for the last four weeks in my life and in my classes. And I talk about it because of how I want people to start trying to find out what their purpose is. I'm so excited about it because 2015 was my year of finding out my divine purpose. I Everything that I've been doing all of my life finally came to fruition. It finally made sense. All the pieces of my puzzle fit together now clearly. And that is the purpose that I'm trying to pursue. Two years ago, a doctor diagnosed me with MS. And for five months, I cried on a stranger's shoulder. Just a friend. Just someone who came into my life at that right time to let me know that God had me, that life is supposed to be about more than just what I was working on at the time. I had started school again for my PhD. I was working at Overload. I was running an organization at a middle school and I was starting my own organization. And then disaster strikes with that diagnosis. And until I got my second opinion, my life was a mess. It broke me down. I was even ashamed of how faithless I really was. I didn't understand what was important. I live by the mantra that you have to do more to be more because more is required. And while I still feel that is true, it is important for people to live their most authentic life if possible. I want to ask you, are you living your most amazing authentic life? You must. We only have a short time on this earth. And it should not be filled with things that really don't matter. Time spent places that really don't matter. Spent with people who really don't matter. Doing things that really don't matter. It is time for you to embrace who you really are to live out your truth. I am all about truth these days. I tell the truth. I, I see the truth. I act the truth. People who know me know that I'm pretty much an open book for the most part. But there are things I work on all of the time to get me closer and closer to that self-actualized truth of my life. So I'm asking you, Facebook family, are you living your most amazing, truthful life? Are you living your purpose? In 2015, after doing hard work with a therapist, I realized why I live in forced solitude. People are attracted to me because I am light. And knowing now that I am light, I have to give it. But I have to give it in a way that it doesn't deplete me every time. I am a person who goes into solitude for the mere fact that I need to be rejuvenated, be recharged. Because I didn't know how to give out my life. I didn't know how to do it. And I've been working on learning that. I know I am light, but who are you? So thank you, Facebook, for joining me. I look forward to seeing you soon. Take care.